Oh, sorry, you caught me in the middle of researching how to weaponize pizza. Why, you may ask? Well, that's for me to know and my enemies to find out. Anyway, it seems to be prime cooking hour. So come on, we gotta make those cookies. Before we hop in that kitchen, we gotta look the part. Because we gotta pay payment to those colonials. So, because I'm a 17-year-old teenager with no money, we're just, we're just gonna take um, this sign that says Epic 1800s Hoodie. Next, uh, one cup on sulfur and molasses. I tried this first. It tastes like, it tastes sweet at first, and then it tastes like absolute motor, motor oil. Ugh. Now, the founding fathers would have done this absolutely high, cracked out, and drunk. And that's a fact. That's hot by some hot water. I'm just gonna pour this over the drain. Try not to burn my get over here. Get over here. If I burn myself, I'm on camera. Good enough. Anyone who eats these is going to die. Bruh. A teaspoon. Okay, we'll get that extra. Will this get me drunk? Probably. The body fathers were drunks and crack addicts. It was their thing. That's gonna be a running joke. Oh no! I did some cuts. I'm gonna kill people with these cookies. These cookies are gonna be killer. This, uh, it smells like vodka. What are you making? Oh right, I didn't even tell them what I'm making. I've never heard of this cookie before, but apparently it's part of the 1800s. It's called the the Joe Fogger cookie. What a dumb name. That looks pretty stirred. Smells terrible. Yeah, that's what yeah. I added way too much rum extract. Can't you? I like a half a cup of butter. It smells terrible. The cookies aren't gonna be good. They're like ginger snaps. Oh, that's disgusting. Why are you making this? I don't know it. I hate my life, that's why. The cookies I'm making for you right now, that those are the cookies you were eating while you were watching this. So, um, you know, you have like pretty good proof of me. You get one of you food poisoning. I'm just gonna like, we're gonna pop this, this mama mia in the microwave. It's glass, I can't throw it. Frank. <laughs> so epic. A uh, half a cup of butter and a cup of, of sugar. Epic. Gamer. Put in. Yeah. It said soften, but you know. <laughs> That's a line fluffy. Check on my Yeah. Well, so does your mom. We're gonna let it sit. See what happens. This is more. Step two, because I did step three by accident. Um, mix together the flour, the spices, salt, and baking soda. Okay, I can do that. Uh, three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. This one goes out to the amount to, to the founding fathers. Ready? Oh! Man. Okay. All right, well you look at that. That's some good old three and a cups of flour right there, ladies and gentlemen. I really do regret snorting that flour. Snort, if you're gonna snort something for a joke, snort uh, powdered sugar. It feels like nothing. That, feel like you just inhale the yeast. Okay, one and a, a cup and a half teaspoons of, oh wait, teaspoons. Salt, a teaspoon, spoon of baking soda. Wow. 
whip. Okay, one fourth ground ginger. I'm just gonna eyeball this one. A spoon, ground cloves. Is there, is there a wasp in here? I'm gonna add the, the ground allspice. A fourth teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Egg. Yeet. Getting to know each other. They're all different colors, so they kind of hate each other. If spices live together, some of them had to have beef. Come on. Like, Simonin had to hate nutmeg. Four. We're on the right track. Alley. Alternate adding part of the flour mixture and then, then the part of the last mixture. Mixing between additions, scraping down side of the bowls as needed. We have found a bowl. Breaking out the big guns. Ah! I'm tired of filming this, so this is just all gonna be in plastic wrap. And three, two, But what you want to do next is take this this mixture and um, put in like put a disc of it in some saran wrap. All right, these two discs is um, put these in the refrigerator, harden for two hours to overnight. So sleep tight in our little discs to realize that we still have this butter and sugar mixture, and I'm not sure what to do with it. So I checked the recipe, and it does not come up again. So if you want like some butter and sugar on your cookie, that can be arranged. What you want to do next is take these two discs, roll them on a lightly floured surface, cut them into cookie shapes, put your oven on for 350, and cook them for about eight to 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, you got some Joe Fogger cookies.